Before we get started, friends, just to have you guys take a breath so that you're not intimidated, this is our battery bank. They are L16s, 24 volt system. We like the 24 volt. We did a lot of research and that's what we ended up doing, the 24 volt. And they have 410 amp hours. Now, the equipment that you're going to need is a funnel. Mr. Mr. Hilder is going to demonstrate. You, uh, oh, and I want to tell people something here. I didn't used to believe in all this, like, rubber gloves, and I always had glasses, but when you work with these batteries enough, and all of a sudden you got holes in your pants and all that kind of stuff, and you're like, how did that get there? The stuff somehow gets on your hands, and it gets on things, and you don't think it does, but it does. So when you're dealing with this, I even wear rubber gloves now because I can take them off and dispose of them and then I wash my hands, but, um, you know, you're touching this stuff and it gets on your skin. Right. So, so you're going to need a funnel. You're going to need uh, a refractometer. And we use, you want to show them, hun, real quick what yeah. brand that is. We've done a lot of research on that and this is the one we, uh, we uh, the X-Tech is what we recommend. A good flashlight and distilled water. We got lots of distilled and I haven't water. Done, I haven't done anything. Like I said, once you do your batteries and, and you sort of get comfortable with them, I haven't, I haven't checked these batteries since December. Mm. You know, people think that you're going to be monitoring th these things every day. They're going to run your life and all that. It's not true. No, yeah. The first year, you're going to have to get in tune with them a little bit mm -hmm. so you understand how they work. After that, it's very easy. You, your batteries are sort of going to do what they're going to do. So, I sort of have a pretty good idea what is going on here already. So, put your little, get a little drop, of, you know, stick your spigot in there, get some of the solution, put it on there. Close it down carefully. And then you just look into the light. And we like these refractometers. Um, I wouldn't mess around with the little bulb syringe and... These are so easy. Yeah, the, um, the, and they're more accurate. The, the bulb syringe and all that stuff is really... Um, they're not for solar batteries. Let's just put it that way. So the, as I suspected, the bat the they're at they're at one hundred percent. Okay. Um, the, and this, do you check each cell? This is the specific gravity, because I've done this in the past and I've done it enough. No, I'm not going to check each cell. I'm just going to go and check randomly throughout the battery bank. Okay. And if anything alerts my attention, um, I'll figure it out then. Okay. But I'm just going to go on and, and check a few. And remember yes. now, Mr. Hilder is saying that we have been doing this is our fifth year with these batteries. He's in tune with them. Uh, but when we first got them the first year, it's yeah, going to take a little time. I used to check them about once, um, once a month. Mm -hmm. um, once you get, once you figure this out, there's no need for yep. that. And that's but, the beauty of uh, you know solar. It really is non-intimidating. Uh, and you don't have to have a PhD to figure out. And they don't. This does not run your life, no. friends. This does not run your life. If it run, if it's running your life, and something. you're enslaved to your solar, something's wrong with right. your setup. You're not doing it right. You know what's going to take place here? I I looked at my levels, and all my water levels have gone down over the winter to where I thought they would be. And you'll figure that out after the first year. And so. You know, and I know there's all these automatic things you can do, but to me, this is going to take me less than an hour to, to, to fill all these. To fill each cell. So I just simply get a glass jar, and I Mason put it up jar. to my line, and I pour it in. Easy. I'm going to check it to make sure it's where, oops, sorry, to see where it's, where I want it at. And there it is. It's right just below the brim of the bottom of the, the opening there. Okay. It's easy. So I'm going to put the cap back on. And you see why you need to have that uh, that flashlight. On? Check these. Go to the next one. And you see also the importance of setting up a battery box that makes it easy to access your batteries. Yeah, I'm going to be on top of these things. This is very easy. You don't need all kinds of fancy gear and expensive stuff. I'm going to take and fill my mason jar <laughs> back up to my line. I'm 
and pour it in. And if you have two people, this goes really quick, but Starry's doing the taping today because she would be filling up. Check my water, and it's perfect right at the bottom of the opening again. And we're just going to continue on like this. This is, you know, this is, I'm going to do this. Um, I'll check these in the summertime. You do get a little more, you know, obviously a lot more sun. So the batteries are um, cooking a little bit more, so to say. There's some juice coming in. So I will check this. This is now May, June, July. I may check it um, mid-July or at the end of July. And then I'll check it in the, like maybe November, December again. And then I won't check it until the spring. Hmm. Okay. You know, a couple, three, three times a year you're going to check these. This is not... This is not running your life. This is very easy. Yeah. We've very got a easy. we've got a great setup. And we just encourage people to do a lot of research and really um the the other part of the practical advice is before you go off grid, if you're really going off grid, talk to people who really have a battery right. bank, you can, who really you, have you, panels and are running a household this is off the part, of solar. This sort of, you know, and I'm not trying to cut people down or be sarcastic, whatever, but you get all the people on the internet and everybody's telling you, you got to do this and you got to do that. And all I simply ask is like, how long have you had your system up and running and mm -hmm. how long have you been doing that? Yep. And I want, you, you should see them doing this. Um, I've had people telling us, oh, this don't work and that don't work. Well, I don't know. It's been five years and our batteries are... Yeah. Are operating at 100%. Uh, gravity has been great with our batteries. There's no great fluctuations. These batteries are going to last a long time. Yeah. Yeah. And everybody says, oh, five years, three <laughs> they, years, two years. They're going to be fried. All different numbers yeah. from people. I'm like, I don't know what kind of batteries you're using, but this is what's working well for us. And and if I can get 10 years out of these things, and I'll let you know in 10 years. Yeah. I'll let you know the real deal. Um I'm going to be happy with these things. Yeah. And when I have to replace them, yeah, it's going to cost yeah. a couple of dollars. You know, I, I'm It'll be to, well worth yeah, the freedom that, that we get from having solar. And let me interject real quick, too. Uh, because we live in an area where there's a lot of people who live off-grid, and they have huge systems. Um, and there's people who have lived off-grid for many, many years, 20-plus years, with battery banks. Uh, we have heard from them. 15 plus years yeah. on batteries, uh, solar panels, once you buy them, forever. You know, you don't have to worry about the solar panels. But these battery banks are lasting over 10 to 15 years. And technically, they should last 20 plus years. We'll let you know. We'll let you know. We'll still be here in 10 years but and 20 I years. I've to the people and I've actually gone to their houses and looked at their systems and seen the real deal. Yes. Not just internet warrior stuff. Or somebody that's always, you got to look at the bottom line. Who's trying to sell you something? Yes. Yeah. The guy down the road ain't trying to sell me nothing. That's right. He's just telling me what's worked for him. And so get hooked up with people that are really doing this stuff and compare notes. It's, it's, it, this is easy. Very easy. It is. Checking my, just keep consistently checking my water to see where we're at. And they're all, they're all almost exactly the same wow so this is very easy just fill my my jar up to that to that line you know you could have your kids do this yeah that's how easy it is yeah pour it in there there you go so how long did it take me to do that and i'm talking i know i know five minutes or just proof is in the pudding five, people 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 35 40 40 minutes max and that's if i keep talking which I don't plan on doing. <laughs> That's, All right. Said a half hour. All right. Thank you, Mr. Hilder. Okay, you guys.